zebra mussels, and invasive species. Originally native to the lakes of southeast Russia, the big ships have brought this invasive species to other countries like Canada. But the question is, are they good or are they bad? Zebra mussels get their name because, like zebras, they have striped patterns on their bodies. They are about the size of a fingernail, which is pretty small. They feed on algae, which could devastate the ecosystem from the ground up. Many ships coming from Russia brought them back, not even knowing it was attached to their ship. They were first sighted in the U.S. in 1988, Lake St. Clair. Right after that, they were sighted in Lake Ontario. Most people don't know this, but they are actually good for our waters. They make them cleaner. Mussels usually have around 30,000 to 1 million eggs per year, so it's 4 to 5 years. Baby zebra mussels are so small, it is impossible to see them without a microscope. So, and the amount of zebra mussels being born each year, zebra mussels can easily take over any small space. They like to hang on to anything they can get to, like docks, walls, and even boats, including my dad's own boat. They are a pain to clean off, but it's necessary. First you need to drain your boat. Empty all bait buckets, everything you can. Then feel around to see if there are any zebra mussels around. It can even get stuck in your motor. Then wash and let your boat dry. Some fish have been brought into Canada to get rid of the mussels, including the goby. The only problem is the goby eats kind of everything, so it doesn't really help the ecosystem. Zebra mussels are also believed to be the source of deadly avian botulism poisoning that has killed tens of thousands of birds in the Great Lakes since the late 1990s. Ducks are the ones that have been the most effective of all types of birds. Anyway, the shells of zebra mussels are very sharp and are easily able to cut anything it touches. Even though they are small, they take up a lot of space and it just annoys everybody who sees them. It's not expensive, it's just time consuming and really annoying. Zebra mussels are filter feeders. When in the water, they open their shells to emit detritus. Zebra mussels are illegal to have with you, and they can't be sold. They don't actually have anything to offer. It just causes a lot more work for us, so there has to be a way to get rid of them. They have a huge population in the Great Lakes, especially Lake Erie, Ontario. Because of this, they can take over any area they want. Along with the goby, smallmouth, bass, crayfish, waterfowl, and muskrats eat the zebra mussels. I hope you learned something about zebra mussels, and I hope you enjoy my video. I need to hear you